I'm very much hoping that we're going to be speaking to Christine Jardine now, Lib Dem MP for Edinburgh West, after their, well, great victory, to be fair to you, Christine, in Somerton and Froome. You must be delighted. Yes, we are delighted. And it's, um, it's actually the, the first time since the mid-90s that um, an opposition party has won four by-elections in the course of, of one parliament. And that was the Liberal Democrats under Paddy Ashdown. It was the start of a very successful period. And we think this will be too, because as we saw in Tiverton and Honiton, in rural areas, lifelong Conservatives are now voting Liberal Democrat because they don't like what the Conservatives are doing. But, they want but something do done about like the NHS. They want doing. something done about the lack of GPs and about public services. But do they like what you're doing, Christine? I ask that because you have got this great result there, but it's as a result of tactical voting. Sir Ed Davey, your party leader, has admitted that today in The Observer. It's also as a result of low turnout. So people aren't actively voting for Lib Dem policies, are they? In fact, I don't think many people watching or listening to this can name any Lib Dem policies. <laughs> You know what? We've won four by-elections. Four times recently, people in Conservative seats have gone to the polls and elected a Liberal Democrat. Now, you can try and pick holes in that whichever way you want and say it's tactical voting or people are not unhappy with the Conservatives. The fact is that given the choice of electing another Conservative MP, they have opted instead to have a Liberal Democrat MP, because they know that a Liberal Democrat MP will work hard, is based in the community, and that they will get the sort of representation which certainly in Somerton and Froome they've been missing out on, yeah. and that Sina Dyke will now provide. So the fact is that people are choosing Liberal Democrats. But Christine, tell me something. What are your top three policies? Because I'm genuinely unclear as to what the Liberal Democrats are pushing for these days. Well, you know what? I'm not uh, going to unveil our manifesto what? at this point, but we will have... Christine, um, I'm not asking you to unveil a manifesto. I just, well, I, I just want to know three well, top me, lib If you let me finish the answer, if you let me finish the answer, okay. you, you, you know, people see, people see that in Parliament, what we are doing is we are pushing for uh, better public services, for more investment in public services. We were the very first people to come up with a windfall tax um, in uh, this country. We suggested it before the Labour Party because we could see the energy companies were making vast profits while people were struggling to heat their homes. We did that. We, um, we uncovered the problem with sewage in this country being, um, being spilled into rivers and we have policies for that. We have policies, policies for supporting mortgage payers at the moment. We asked for a mortgage support scheme. We were the ones who called for the supermarkets to, to be uh, brought to the table to talk about their pricing. So, I mean, what do you want me to do? I can tell I you know, everything I mean, that, that we plan for. A bit but more the meat on the bones, is, I think. You can put put polls in it, but when we go to the polls, when we talk to voters, they like what we say, they like what we do. We've won, we were the big winners in the local council elections in a lot of uh, rural constituencies in England. Yeah. So, you know, you may not know what the policies are. I completely accept that, but... But, but, the but, you're saying, but you're saying you don't want to reveal. Happy. You're saying you don't want to reveal your main policies. Like you've given me a kind of like you've you've kind of given me some sound bites about where the general direction of travel is. Windfall tax. You alerted people to pollution in rivers, etc. But you know where do you stand on grammar schools? Are you going to make a pledge to scrap tuition fees again? Where would you like our taxes to be? What should happen to inflation? Do you want different governance of the Bank of England? How, what are you going to do about crime? What is the Liberal Democrats going to do about any of these subjects? All of, that. All of that will be in our manifesto at the next general election. But if you listen to what we say in Parliament, it's very clear where we stand on every issue that the country is facing at the moment, that we believe strongly that something has to be done about the cost of living, that something has to be done about the economy, that something has to be done about the state of our NHS. We need to be able for people to get GPs when they need them, to get ambulances when they need them, yes. for the pressure to be taken off our teaching staff. Now, we have been talking about our policies for five years now. We've been asking the government to make changes. We we wanted to make serious changes with the windfall tax, use yeah. that money to invest in our services. So when it comes to a general election, we will reveal our policies for the next five years in our manifesto. But like the other parties, 
we're not going to we're not going to do it right now. If there is a by election, then we will another by election in Mid Bedfordshire. Yeah. We are confident that the people there will agree with us in the same way that the people have in Somerton and Froome, okay. in Morrison, in North Shropshire, and um, back in um, Cheshire and Amersham. Christine, we're running out of time, so I just need a yes no answer to the following question: Will you do a pact with Labour at the next general election? Yes or no? No. OK, thank you for that, Christine Jardine. Lovely to speak to you this Sunday morning. Thank you very much.